Hi, let's do another one of these useful um, time series uh, function. This one is going to be very similar to what we did with lag, which is a difference from previous, but what we're going to do here is previous from the first item. So let's clean up, make sure we know where our working directory is, pull in a data set, have a look at it. It's the same one as in, in the um, difference from previous. So we've got some uh, stock quotes of Apple, Google, Amazon from a couple of weeks of, uh, of data. And we're going to want to look at the adjusted close price over time. Let's write that to a CSV and open it up. Take a peek in Excel. Let's throw it in a little pivot. And what we want is the date, adjusted close price, the stock, and that's pretty much it. Now let's uh, add the adjusted close one more time and select the difference from, and let's take the first item of the series, which is November 15th, and that's going to give us the difference in points from, uh, from November 15th, which is the first uh, date of the series, and if we want to get it in percentages, so do the same thing, but difference in percent from November 15th. And this is what we're trying to uh, emulate in R. Just, of course, uh, Excel will never miss a chance to not get what you want between count and sum. It's always the opposite. But let's not complain. OK, so let's do this thing in R. So uh, we'll use dplyr. And we'll take the df. Um, data frame and put it into another data frame called df1 and we'll only select the uh, four columns that we want. Let's run that. Okay, take a look. So we have the date, the just close price and the uh, stock. Then we say group by stock and same as in SQL. Uh, the reason we do that we're not going to see any uh, visible difference here, but it's going to uh, set the, the grouping on uh, the stock. So whenever we start a, a series uh, um, computation, it'll start and end within the group by. So it'll run on Apple, then it'll run on Google, etc. Then we're going to mutate. So we're going to add a, uh, another column called day one, and that's going to be using the first function. Okay, so the first is just going to take the first item of adjusted close, which is what we want. Let's run that, have a look what that looks like. Great, so here is the price, the first price of the series in each one of the series. Then we'll add another uh, column, which is going to be called diff from start, and that's just going to be the adjusted close uh, adjusted close column minus the new day one column. And so here we go. This is the difference in points from the, uh, the first item of the series. And now let's do a little calculation. We'll just uh, times the edge close by 100 and divide by the price in the first date. And that's going to constitute the whole code here. And this is what we want. Okay, if you don't times it by 100, you can get it in the actual uh, percentage points, which is, I think, what we did in Excel. Yeah. So if you want to change that, just don't time it by 100. Get the same thing. Okay, so 
Hope you find this useful. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.